Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we are diving into a topic that's essential to how we store and access data on computers, file systems and storage. When you save a file, access a document, or install an application, your operating system's file system is hard at work, keeping everything organized and making sure you can quickly retrieve your data. In this video, we will explore what file systems are, how they work, and why they play a critical role in performance and efficiency. Let's get started. A file system is a method that the operating system uses to manage and organize files on a storage device, such as a hard drive, SSD, or USB stick. Think of it like a digital librarian that catalogs everything on your device, ensuring you can find what you need when you need it. File systems define how data is stored organized, accessed, and secured, and they are fundamental to the way computers handle data storage and retrieval. Every file and folder on your device has a specific address within the file system, and the operating system relies on these addresses to locate and access data efficiently. Without a file system, your computer would essentially have a heap of unorganized data, no folders, no structure, and no easy way to retrieve specific files. Different operating systems use various file systems. Here are some of the most popular ones. Number one, FAST32. FAST32 is one of the oldest and most widely supported file systems, used mainly for USB drives and external storage devices. While it's compatible with many systems, it has limitations like a maximum file size of 4 GB, making it less suitable for large files or modern storage needs. Number 2. NTFS NTFS is primarily used by Windows operating systems. It provides advanced features such as file encryption, permissions, and larger file support. NTFS is efficient for internal drives, but may not be fully supported by other systems like macOS, Number three, XFAT. XFAT combines the simplicity of FAT32 with the large file support of NTFS, making it ideal for flash storage and external drives. It's compatible with both Windows and Mac OS, making it a versatile choice for data transfer between different systems. Number four, ext 4 Ext4 is widely used in Linux systems and offers features like journaling, which helps prevent data corruption in case of a sudden shutdown. It's designed for high performance and stability, making it a preferred choice for Linux users. File systems organize data in a hierarchical structure of files and directories or folders. This hierarchy makes it easy to find specific files and store data in an organized way. Here are some essential concepts that make this organization possible. Number one, inode. In Unix-like file systems like ext4, files are represented by inodes, which store metadata about each file, including its size, permissions, and location on the disk. The data itself is stored in data blocks, and the inode keeps track of which blocks belong to each file. Number two, file allocation table, or FAT. In FAT-based file systems, a table called the file allocation table keeps track of which clusters are used by which files. This table serves as a map, allowing the operating system to locate and retrieve data as needed. Number three, directories and passes. Directories are simply folders that can contain files or other folders. Each file and folder has a path that shows its location within the system. For example, in Windows, you might see a path like the following. This path tells the operating system exactly where to find the file. Number four, file permissions. File systems also handle permissions, defining which users or programs can access, modify, or delete a file. Permissions ensure data security and prevent unauthorized access, which is especially crucial in multi-user systems or shared environments. File systems are designed not only for organization, but also for speed and efficiency. Here's how they achieve that. Number one, caching. Many file systems use caching to speed up data access, 
when you open a file, the system loads it into a faster memory area, which is cache, so you can access it more quickly next time. This reduces the time spent reading from the storage device. Number two, fragmentation and defragmentation. Over time, files can become fragmented with pieces scattered across different areas of the storage. Fragmentation slows down data retrieval as the system has to search multiple locations. To combat this, operating systems offer defragmentation tools that reorganize fragmented files for faster access. SSDs handle fragmentation differently, so they don't require defragmentation as much as hard drives do. Number three, journaling. Some file systems like NTFs and X4 use journaling to improve reliability. When you make changes to a file, the system records them in a journal before applying them. If the system crashes unexpectedly, it can use the journal to recover data and prevent corruption. Journaling adds a layer of security, especially in systems where stability is critical. Number four, data compression. Some file systems support data compression, which reduces the amount of storage space needed for files. Compressed files take up less space and can be read faster, or so they may require extra processing power to decompress when accessed. File systems aren't just important for storing data. They play a key role in the performance, stability, and security of your device. In enterprise environments, file systems must support massive amounts of data and ensure data integrity across multiple devices and users. In consumer devices, they must balance speed and ease of use, making file access almost instantaneous. For developers and engineers, understanding file systems is crucial. Knowing how your data is organized and accessed helps you design applications that work efficiently with the file system, especially when dealing with large files or high volumes of data. It's also essential knowledge for troubleshooting performance issues and improving application speed. File systems are the unsung heroes of your operating system, silently working to organize, secure, and manage your data, whether it's handling permissions, preventing fragmentation, or ensuring data integrity with journaling. File systems are fundamental to the smooth operation of your computer. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.